collection of our inventor series using Autodesk Inventor. In this case, we are going to take a look at the access tool. The access tool is great for representing a imaginary center line. In our example, we've got a model where we want to represent a, a table bed and we want to illustrate the center line of any machinery item. It could be a drill, could be a item that needs to be fitted. You could even use that as a reference location if you want to use it in the assembly mode. So the access tool is great for representing a center line specifically. And I'm going to show you how to use the access tool. So to use the access tool, we can use it directly on a cylindrical surface by activating the access tool for the work axis, aiming at any circular reference. So in this case, it's a flat surface or an external outside cylinder face, and we'll see a center line appearing of where it proposes to place this new center line. So you can see as I aim over any center line uh, set hole or object that's cylindrical, it'll give us the imaginary center line. You can even aim it at edges. So it'll give us proposed axis on an edge of a object. So in this case, I'm going to place my first one on the center line of this um, trolley, uh, trolley um, turn handle. And it'll create an object in the browser and give us a center line. You can also adjust the center lines by grabbing the little circular ends and just dragging them bigger or smaller. To create another one, we can place it at a uh, edge. Now, in my case, I want to place it in an imaginary location that's above the table. So if you look at it from the right, it's somewhere up here. So I want an offset of uh, a certain number of units, but it also needs to be centered to the, the main body's um, center. So imagine a, um, a, a surface grinder has a spinning head. So that's got a center line. So that's what I want to create this um, new axis for. So we can create an axis by creating temporary geometry in order to place it in its location. So the temporary geometry I'm going to use is going to be, or temporary work feature is going to be a plane. So I'm going to construct a location using plane. So I want it at the center of this face. One, we saw how to use it in the other series. So if you go and watch the series on work, um, work planes, you'll see how to create this work plane. So that's now in the middle of those two faces. But now I want it at a height. So I'm going to Click plane, drag it off, set my height, 100 units off the top. Now I want an axis between those two. So an axis between face work feature one, work feature two, and it'll create the um, item there. What you will notice is that the browser absorbs those as part of the um, final object. You can take that off by using consume inputs off, and it'll go put those back into the browser. You can now turn those off. Keyboard shortcut is Alt square brackets pointing open to the uh, left. And what's nice about using that, if we go create a new sketch, we can now go and fetch that axis as a point. And that's now a locked location for us. What is useful about that is if there's any changes to the work feature, let's change this one's height to say 125 millimeters, the, the sketch geometry also adjusts to that um, center lines changes. There's an alternative way to creating this constructed work feature. To create um, the work features in a similar fashion, let's say I want to create a center line between the two edges over here. So we want a work plane and then um, between those two faces and at the top. So I'm going to act activate the works axis command. Part of the work axis is a right click and you can actually create the work plane in the axis command. So as you click plane, it now wants you to position work planes. So the first plane is going to be on the left. Okay, now I want a second plane on the right. There's the imaginary first plane. I want to create a second one. So it's right click plane again between this will be fine. And then I can go axis. Uh, let's get that right again. Create plane one, 
two, and then create plane again, zero, and then it'll create the axis at that zero location. Sorry, the, the last step, I didn't drag it off, which it was trying to create a second plane. Once you drag it, set zero, now it's at the top end, and at the center of those, at the cut. And that's work axis. Um, it is a work feature that adjusts according to the um, elements that you attached it to. So there is some side effects to the work axis. If I had to do a delete this entire body, the axis doesn't know where to attach because the planes that the axis attached to could have also been changed. So when you're using work features, use it as your base construction first and then derive your, your work um, geometry from those. Um, then the, the work geometry is then controlling the geometry. It's handy for trying to construct imaginary um, orientations and locations. Thanks for watching. That's the access tool.